Breaking news, breaking news. Julian Assange has been arrested in London, dragged out of the Ecuadorian embassy by London police. Let's dive right in and check it out. Here he is. UK must resist. Pretty convincing, right? It's definitely him. He definitely got dragged out of the Ecuadorian embassy. It's definitely London police. It was his face. It was his his voice. Right? We just, you know, I got to rule that out. That is it, somebody else. Right? So, so here we go. Let's just look at what the mainstream uh, media is reporting. New York Times: Julian Assange charged by U.S. with conspiracy to hack a government computer. I have the I have it right here. Right? This is the uh, indictment right here. It says conspiracy to commit computer intrusion. Uh, 18 U.S.C. 371, right? All of this has to do with uh, Chelsea Manning. None of it has anything, I couldn't, I didn't go all the way to the end of it, but none of it has anything anything to do with Snowden. Chelsea Manning, formerly known as Bradley Manning, was an intelligence analyst in the United States Army who was developed, was deployed to forward, forward operating base Hammond, Hammer in Iraq. All right, so he's an Iraqi Chelsea Manning, right? What they're trying to do. So that's the charge. I'm not going to go too deep into it right now. Uh, Assange was clutching. a. That's That was the image, too. You saw the image? The image of, of him. He's clutching a book right here. All right, let's look at the book. Who is it? Gore Vidal. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but let's find out. So... Assange was clutching a Gore Vidal book as he was dragged from Ecuadorian embassy. You can see it right here, right? The 47-year-old was uh, 47 year old WikiLeaks uh, founder Julian Assange finally left the Ecuadorian embassy after seven years, and focus was largely on his appearance uh, and what, was, what he was screaming as he was uh, bun- bundled into a police van. He was screaming, UK resist. He has a, a magazine of Gore Vidal in his hand. Maybe he was sitting on the bowl and they ripped him off the bowl. You know, he's just doing some casual reading. Uh, who is Gore Vidal? Gore Vidal, History of the National Security State, according to the Amazon listing. It's a collection of interviews with the American literature legend uh, who chronically uh, chronicled major cultural shifts in the United States. All right. Assange in court gives thumbs up to press. That was about 37 minutes ago. Assange uh, has, a, has appeared inside the courtroom at London's Westminster uh, Magistry Court wearing a dark suit with his hair tied back and crisp white beard. He gave a thumbs up to the press. He appeared calm and confident as the judge asked him where his lawyers were. <clears throat> Assange conf- confirms, U.S. confirms charges of uh, charges against Assange. I just read it. It all has to do with, with Chelsea Manning. Right? And uh, let's see. So let's see what these guys are saying. Ecuadorian authorities was revoked. Here's how it all unfolded. Heavily bearded and handcuffs, the WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange was dragged out of the Ecuadorian embassy by British police shouting... The UK must resist. His arrest is seven years in the making. The 47-year-old had been wanted by British police since 2012 when he skipped bail and sought asylum at the embassy to escape extradition to Sweden on accusations of rape and sexual assault. Swedish prosecutors dropped their investigations, but the WikiLeaks founder told his supporters from the embassy balcony that he still couldn't risk leaving. The war proper war 
is just commencing. The UK has said it will arrest me uh, regardless. And that's exactly what happened. His fear now, as then, is that the US government will request his extradition on charges of espionage. Okay, so that's a spin. CNN, C, CM, CBS is saying he'll be extradited on espionage charges. That's not true. We already, we see the charge. The charge is, the charge is conspiracy to commit computer intrusion. It's not espionage. Right? So they're, they're spinning it already. WikiLeaks has provoked the U.S. government for more than a decade, leaking troves of classified documents and videos online. He's not a leaker. He's a publisher. So the spin, this is the spin machine. CBS, they, they have an interest in, and I can tell you why, because now, I'll tell you in a second. In the 2016 presidential campaign came more leaks. Thousands of emails hacked from prominent Democrats. U.S. intelligence agencies later concluded Russia had delivered the data to WikiLeaks in an effort to discredit Hillary Clinton, a charge Assange has denied. But in 2017, he said his self-imposed exile has been challenging. And almost five years here in this embassy without sunlight. Seven years without charge. Why my children grew up without them. So it's pretty, it's pretty breathtaking. Let's look at uh, Zero Hedge has some updates. Uh, at 9.35, Assange is in custody. Sweden appears to be reviving its prosecution of Assange pff, on rape charges stemming from his uh, alleged having unprotected sex against his consent, consenting parents' wishes. It, it's just, that's ridiculous. Uh, they dropped the charges, so I don't foresee him getting dragged off to uh, Sweden. Journalist Glenn Greenwall has raised some important points about the precedence that the U.S. government is setting by prosecuting Assange for leaking classified information. Right? If Trump does this, Trump, if Trump prosecutes this guy, allows it to happen on his watch, forget about it. I mean, he's just he's just become you know total traitor, total traitor of the of the uh, country. So, what's going on, really? What's going on? So. This is big news because now the answer to the hack versus leak, uh, the, the only person, probably the only person alive that actually knows the answer to that question is Julian Assange. Was the DNC hacked or was it a leak from the inside? Who gave Julian Assange that information? Now, the United States has said that it was a hack, 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 hack. Russians hacked, hacked, hacked. And gave it to Assange. Assange has said, no, it doesn't. So all the evidence thus far points to a leak from within and then the erasure of that information by a organization hired by the DNC called CrowdStrike to wipe the computer. So this is big, right? Now, what's going to happen to Assange? You got Now you've got Assange in custody. You've got poss possibly going to get extradited to the U.S. because the British don't have anything. Maybe they'll 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 uh, deal with their bail jumping, and Sweden will be second in line for for uh, any prosecution after the U.S. gets him. So it looks like the U.S. is next in line. He's going to have a flight over to the United States of America, where the U.S. now he has now once he's on U.S. soil. Right, if he's on U.S. soil, he has the right to, you know, U.S. Um, U.S. Uh, rights and privileges, right, under the U.S. law, right? Will they drag him to Gitmo or to a military base? I don't know, man. Today we're living in some crazy times. So, so that's the breaking news. I don't want to go too too far into it. Uh, catch up on it. Um, you know, Julian Assange is out. Julian Assange is out of jail, man. He's out of the Ecuadorian embassy and now in in custody. Marcus Conti reporting.